What you do it on there? Are you on Tinder? Tinder? No, man. I'm on none of that swiping, all that stuff. I heard they got one for black people. Yeah, Soul Swipe. Oh, it's man. the hood Come version. Come on, man. You can even tell by the colors. I hate when we make something like, you know, make it over and don't make it just as nice. Like, why everything like the black version got to be looking dusty? Like, just make well, it. Well, it's got to be brown and mahogany. It's brown. They like, like them tones. They like to use a lot of. <laughs> we know we're black. We don't need to use those dark ass colors. Like, let's they like to use brown and sequoia yeah. and sycamore, those oh. colors. Mm -mm. You ever them black people uh, green? cards you know what I'm talking yeah, about they do they cost all of them look real dark just for it to be like a black silhouette of a person what I the agree. mother means to me is hope courage <laughs> and a bunch of other shit and it's 4.99 and you get it for your mama because you love her. that's so sweet I don't really see that many black cards I have seen a couple but they weren't you know cool enough for me to get and sometimes cards my only gift so I really gotta put my all into my card selection. Just <laughs> get the gift, don't get the card. You can't, get like, me the gifts, gift. No, cards are cheaper. What do you I mean? know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, the gift is me thinking about you and going to this. I don't have a car, so I anything I do is like extra sweet. I got and you. And I'm like, I walked to the store in the rain to get this card. It's, the, it's, it's your work that you put in to do it. Yes, exactly. Oh my exactly. goodness, you the worst kind of gift giver. No, no, I'm not. I yeah. really enjoy giving gifts. Like, do you know what I did to get you that gift? Only if they're only if they're um, if they're complaining that and giving them a real gift. That's the only people I just give a card to. If I give like a real gift, then my gifts are like fucking amazing. So it doesn't matter. No one ever complains about them. Like. I'm like the number one guest. I think my other guest just got here. But before he comes, so you did last comic standing. How was that? It was good. I won. <laughs> oh, you did win. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's How's no the complaint. Experience? Um, it was pressure, but everything that I've been through thus far really just kind of kicked, clicked in and it just worked out. Like, there was times when it was stuff that was like supposed to be the challenge or whatever. And I'm like, I've been in this situation before. I know what to do. Oh, I know what to do here. Now, after my first set, it kind of clicked. I wouldn't say I knew I was going to win, but I knew what you needed to do or what they expected. And they expect a certain level of consistency of however you were, you either didn't need to top that or be just as good as that yeah. every time out there. Like any dip is inconsistent. So. And y'all stayed there? Did y'all stay together? No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, we was at the same hotel, but, but no, I, it's not like we was at, no, it's not like the old one where they was in a house or nothing. But we was all I at was. the hotel, but it, it's, 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 when it gets down to like the last like 40, like you start to see like, you're like, okay, there's somebody that's similar to everybody. Like there were two of, of everybody. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, you got this dude, that's the. Who was your twin? That's the, I, I really don't know his name, but I saw him in the elevator. And I was in battle mode, so I just didn't talk to him. And what do you look like? I iced like? him. Uh, he was tall. He was light skinned. I don't know. You all there could only be one. That's how I felt. That's how <laughs> I felt, man. Because we had figured it out at the bar the night before. We was like, oh, he's, and that's, and that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we need the, you know, the middle aged house husband. He's there, you know what I'm saying? You need the quirky, Hollywood. spunky personality. You got two of them. You need one person who's, you know what I mean? So Now, so before you got on that show, did they try and get like drama out of you or is that strictly off of talent? No, nah, man. Shout out to Wanda and Paige. Uh, Wanda Sykes and Paige Horowitz and everybody that worked on that show, man. They made it super cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot of people try to say a lot of stuff about that show, but my season was awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, they made it straight about the comedy. It was just comedians going out there was no stunts it was no extra stuff you had to do you didn't have to do challenges you didn't have to say you was funnier than somebody else you just went out there and they narrowed it down and it worked the way it worked and the reason it worked for me was it was an audience like as long as that audience was there yeah. I knew that was like an extra judge so that's good because you know the whole reason I'm kind of down here is I was almost on Hell's Kitchen, and I almost made the show without them tasting any of my food. They didn't have us cook anything. Wait a minute. You a chef? Yeah. Like, all the way chef? <laughs> like, I get down in the kitchen. Okay. So, what happened to Hell's Kitchen? Um, I didn't make it. I didn't have enough drama, I think. But um, the thing is, shout out to the Hell's Kitchen producers. I still love you guys, but let's just call a spade a spade. What's the Hell's um, Kitchen? What the, what's the show about? That's what Gordon Ramsay. 
and they pretty much oh were your yeah. restaurant nasty no they didn't even have my food it, it, they, they you had they, a restaurant no i have my own personal chef and catering business though oh dope yeah. but you know the show that i'm talking about yeah it's two different shows okay he has but hell's kitchen kitchen is, nightmares that's the one i'm that's on about. that's on i was gonna say cartoon network that's on um food network okay you saying K hell's kitchen that's on, kitchen that's Night nightmares was after hell's kitchen the kind of like Got you. Yeah. He just come in and tell you it ain't your. your it ain't. Yeah. yeah your but place we didn't meet shit. Gordon Ramsay because you have to make it all the way onto the show. Like if someone would have broke their pinky toe, then I would have been on the show. That's how like close I was to making it. You should have Nancy Kerrigan. But um, huh? Huh? What? Tell me hard. What? No. Huh. But yeah, I didn't have enough drama. I like even, like the first two times I had made it almost through, and then the third time I kind of was up on game, and I'm like, oh. And they're like asking me a sob story. I like made myself cry. It was a wonderful performance, wonderful. Oh, but you needed more drama. I needed more drama. Even though my life is filled with drama, but I wasn't like fully truthful. Cause there's, you know, it was certain things that I don't really want y'all exploiting me for, so. Yeah, you know. I mean, I didn't have no drama, but I, I guess I realized like I live with my mom, so. That's drama For enough. them, they was like, I guess, but to me, I was like, yeah, I'm just. You know, this is the black that. family thing. Like, you know, Latinas, they live with their parents, so they're freaking married. And sometimes afterwards, like. Well, sometimes it depends on where you are, too, you know. I can live at home with my mom because she's crazy. Yeah. But, you know, you have a cool mom then. No, my mom was cool, and I just stacked money, and now I take care of her. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> you liked Last Comic Standing better than Roast Battle? Huh? How yeah, like I mean, Roast Battle was cool. Me and Noah, that's my dude. I know him. So, I mean, it was cool, but I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was really prepared like that because um, I had just second. done Let another pilot. What? Me and Clayton were actually on the same season of Jeff Ross Presents Roast Battle 2. Wait, Comedy Central. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Roast Jeff Ross. Battle. I know, but what is it? Comedy Jeff Central Ross Presents. Person? It's Comedy Central. It's on Comedy okay. Central. Okay, we, me and Cla <laughs> Clayton and I were just on the same episode of Jeff Ross Presents Roast Battle 2 on Comedy Central. <laughs> you was in okay. Denver? No, I was in Atlanta. They just showed it together. Oh, okay. Okay, Clayton and I just filmed... No, ah, okay. <laughs> Clayton and I were just on the same episode of Jeff Ross Presents Roast Battle Season 2 on Comedy Central. I was in Atlanta, he was in Denver. Now, how did you like the roast battle experience? It was cool. I mean, I got some jokes off. I roasted the judges. Like, I knew Noah, so I didn't win, so that always sucks, you know, but that's what it was. I didn't win either. <laughs> yeah, you lost too? I lost. I bombed on national TV. <sighs> yeah, I think, it's, I, think it's, I think it's better to go against somebody that you might know or somebody that I you're kind of cool her. with, and then you got more. But also, like, you gotta, I couldn't remember none of the jokes I wrote. But I wrote the jokes like the, like two days before, the day before really, cause I was coming off another thing. But, but how long did they give, okay, well see, I didn't know the person at all. They gave me a week, This they, I went against Candace Thompson, who's a freaking beastly writer. She was just on a freaking Oh yeah, she's funny, I've seen her, yeah. And she's hilarious. I did, honestly, I wrote so many jokes, but once I got up there, it was just like, I don't know. I, I just like froze in my mind, but you couldn't tell that I like froze on the outside, but my mind just kind of froze. I couldn't remember the jokes I wrote, but I love talking shit and snapping anyway, yeah. so I was okay. You were comfortable. I the still had too. like, you know, I still got some out there, like in the stuff I shot back at the judges. That was just lashing out. But yeah. that's what we do. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna slide one in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You try to slide one in too. I got something for you too. So. Yeah, I was but trying to um, butter up. This is what it was. I mean, it was cool. Shout out to the Comedy Central or whatever. Shout I don't know. out, Jeff Ross. Daddy Ross is what I call him. That is I my don't homie. Call him that. <laughs> when I said it, title to do what you want to do. That, that's I, what is that? When no. I said it at the comedy store, he was like, "I can't believe you said that in public. You're so cool." My little sister actually came up with that name. Speaking of nicknames, you have a couple on your um, Twitter. You have. On Twitter? Yeah, it says, AKA Peanut Sabado. Mm -hmm. I mean, AKA Peanut, AKA Sabado Domingo, AKA that dude. Does that sound familiar? Mm hmm. 
What are all? Why, why do you have so many nicknames? Oh, I mean, you you gotta be. You know, it, it takes a lot to make up the magnificence. Oh. That's inside of me. So you know, sometimes it just can't be contained in one personality. You know. You got a few that's out there. So did a different person give you each nickname or did you come up with all of them? Well, no, like Peanut, um, that's the character. I played on uh, House of Pain. And also it's what my mom called me when I was a fetus in her stomach. Well, the fetus is in stomachs? Yeah, right? Yeah, it just got dark. Mm-hmm. Now it looked like a scary movie. This looked like the... This look like the chair in Saw or some shit. What time is it? 30 after? 30 after? 33, yeah. Okay, we have to hurry. There you go. Now we lit. All right. Okay. No, what did Peanut. you say? Yeah. No, that's the character I played on House of Pains. What my mom called me when I was in the stomach. When you were a fetus? fetus. Yeah. Sabado Domingo. That's what they call me in Spanish-speaking countries. Isn't that Saturday, Sunday? Yes. I knew it. I'm I was known like... As the, they treat me like the weekend when I come. They be happy the weekend there. You know, this was before the weekend was the weekend. You feel me? I didn't even so, realize that that was the weekend Spanish name. But, no, I'm just saying. That's not the weekend Spanish name. Well, it's, it's your just, name, it's but it means name, the weekend. It's my name, Sabado Domingo, but that's how can I Can I move. call you that from now on? I mean, you can, you know, I mean, I, I respond to different things, but you just got to make sure you say it correctly and appropriately. Sabado Domingo. Yeah, see there? That? That's fine. That, that's what I'm going to call you from that's now That's fine. On. Okay. And then that dude, you came up with that one. Oh, uh, that dude, that's when I was battle rapping. Like oh, great, because we're getting a freestyle. Okay, no, I'm cool. not freestyle. Why not? I'm not freestyle. Yeah, we can do mm -mm. it. All right, I'm well, if I, can get you, if I can just get you to give me like 15 minutes with the, my next guest, and then we're going to play some games, and you'll be out of here by 8. Don't you worry. Huh? I talk too fast. It's only 7.30. Oh, okay, yeah. You'll be out of here as by long eight. as I can get out by 8, I should be All close. right, cool. Well, get out of here. All right, cool. Don't, so I got to go, go sit down? Don't go too far. Just go over there. And I'm not freestyling. I'm Can not asking you to freestyle. You still have to, have to, to come back. So just go to the couch. How many people do you need for the game? I need you. All right. And I need one. I'm going to be right back. Look at my vlog. Oh, look. It's Jasmine's World, where you can see everything Jasmine. Woo!